and welcome back uh, to lesson two of PowerPoint Cut and Paste and Beyond. Beyond. Okay, you might recognize this picture. It's the picture from lesson one. Uh, this is our water uh, cycle uh, diagram. Um, now hopefully the webcam thingy, what is it called, Cam Studio, this is Cam Studio Recorder. Sometimes it breaks up the picture a little bit because it's free software. And so let's, let's just hope it holds it together today. Okay, we're going to learn how to animate now. Um, first of all, I'm going to click on my cloud object and I'm going to go and take it right off the screen so it's not actually on the um, on the visible part of the screen so surprisingly enough all I have to do is click on animations to make an animation now there are three types of animations if I click these are all the the uh, animations across the top here there's a pull down menu here you can see that there are three main colors. There's this section, which are in green, and they are to enter the frame or enter the screen. The yellow ones in the middle is for emphasis, so it these do things to objects to animate them without removing them or adding them. And finally, the exit. That's so that they disappear in some way. Maybe they split, maybe they fly out, and that kind of thing. The, if we scroll all the way down, we've got motion paths as well. And one of the kids' favorites is the custom path. And I'm just going to select custom path. And I'm going to draw a line with my little pencil. And then I'm going to let go. And you can see it's got a little tail there. So I'm just going to go back to the little point and I'm double click. Okay, and there's the cloud it just automatically flies in. Okay, because we've got quite a number of animations uh, to do, we're going to need to organize our animations. So if we have a look up here, you can see add animation and we can see animation pane. I'm going to click on animation pane and you can see that the cloud three has been given a custom path on click okay now what if we don't want it to wait for us to click on it for the for the cloud to move maybe we want it to actually fly in automatically when we open the page well we can go up here into this little window and it says start on click let's pull it down with previous or after previous do you want it to wait for the user to click do you want it to happen at the same time as the last thing that happened or do you want it to happen after the last thing that happened well the last thing that happened was we ran the PowerPoint so we're just going to click after previous I'm going to make the duration a little longer by clicking up here or I can write a number in there if I want to. I'm going to put uh, 8. Okay, The duration with a, a larger number means it's going to take longer which means the cloud will move slower. And delay, well maybe if I give it a, 20, a 0.25 second uh, delay that animation is not going to happen immediately so we won't miss it. Okay. Now to watch our animation we click on play and this is just a, a preview it's not the, the full thing. We'll click on play and there you see oh, see it had a little bit of a delay and then it floated like a cloud into place beautifully. Okay now under our animation pane you can see that there is a bar along there and you can choose some various settings there. We won't go into that too much. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to put a raindrop coming out of my cloud. Okay, so that means we're going to have to create a new object. So we're going to have to go back to home. 
and guess what there is a raindrop in here somewhere in fact I think I used it as a um, as a pond let's see there's a raindrop in here somewhere dum 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 there it is teardrop okay it's a bit wonky it's a little bit to the side but as you can see this little green handle allows us to rotate it so that the drop is at the top and I can stretch it out a little bit and now it looks like a raindrop and we might want more than just one two so let's remember control C click away control V Ooh, we've got another raindrop control V to paste again and I might make them all different sizes too you know that might make them look like they're you know let's make that one copy and paste make another big one over here and another really little one copy paste and a little one like this really tiny one. Oh, it's a bit wonky Sorry about that there we go and a little one. Oh, don't they look cute okay now we don't want those uh, raindrops to be sitting there waiting for us when the cloud comes in we actually want them all to be hiding we want them to disappear so what we can do is we need to group them all together so they're all the same object so I'm going to click on one, I'm going to hold down my shift key and click all the others while I keep my shift key uh, held down. Now they're all selected. I right hand click, I right hand click <laughs> and I'm going to click group, group. What's that going to do? Well, it's going to group all our raindrops together so they all act at the same time. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put it, put them right where the cloud's going to be. Okay, now we need to go back to animations. And this time, the, they, we need to actually have it appear into the frame. Now we've got a few things that so we can have them fade in or just appear. But um, because we've already got an animation in the animation pane over here, means we're going to have to add animation. So we're going to animate it after the cloud has already been animated. So I'm just going to I'm going to get them to fade in. Now, because we want that to happen after the cloud has flown in, we're going to have to go to our start after previous, and you can see over here that the little little bar that um that identifies the animation is after the last bar. Okay. Well, that's not quite enough. We're not done yet. We need the rain to fall on the ground. So let's click on it. Now we're going to create another animation. So we have to add animation. This time we want it to fall to the ground. And good old, good old uh, custom path. We can just draw it and then double click at the end. Oh, look at them. They look lovely. And again, we need it to be after previous. Okay. And finally, we want them to disappear into the ground. So we highlight them once again, add animation, and this time we select fade out. Okay. So they're going to fade out once they get to the ground. Now, oh, what did we forget? Look at that. It's sitting there at start zero seconds. We don't want that. We want it after previous. So when we have a look at them all, we stretch it all out. You can see all our animations. Now the cloud takes a really long time. The fade in doesn't. The rain doesn't take very long to go and then the fade out doesn't take very long either afterwards. Okay, so just to check how it works, we'll click our play button. And in comes the cloud behind the tree, which is really cute. 
and then the raindrops appear and fall and vanish and that's all I'm going to show you in this this one so watch out for the next video where we're going to do some link 